Today, I'll show you how to do your CoinSquare crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about CoinSquare and um, the breakdown of this video is really straightforward as it always is. I'll tell you a little bit about the exchange itself, then I'll jump into the integration side of the video and then I'll tell you where to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions or issues, I'll leave you some resources where you can send those. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this is a Canadian exchange founded in 2014, and it's very similar to some of the other Canadian exchanges we've covered lately. Very basic, nothing you know crazy in terms of features. It only has 10 different uh, currencies you can work with. It doesn't have anything like NFTs or OTC or futures. So if you're a beginner looking to get started, probably a good platform for you. If you're someone with a ton of crypto experience looking to really dive deep into all the different things you could do with crypto, crypto, probably not a platform you're using, but let's jump into the actual integration part of this video. Okay. So first things first, you're going to sign into your Coinly account or, you know, set one up. If you don't have one, head over to the wallet section and then click on add exchange. You're going to type in CoinSquare and you're going to type, um, whoops, CoinSquare. I just put coin. I just realized that. So CoinSquare and then, um, it doesn't have an API option. So today we're specifically just talking about how to import this with CSV files. Maybe in the future they do create that option, but for now, we're gonna keep it very straightforward. So click on import from file and I'll show you where to get the necessary file from their website. Okay, so we're here on their website in the markets area. In the top right corner, there is an option that says account. And then from that, there's a drop down menu and you're gonna click on documents. And here is where you're gonna have your, um, you know, transaction history. Make sure to download your entire transaction history for as long as you've had this account. Um, so that might be, you know, if you're a newbie, that might be a year for you. If you've been using it for a while, that might be several years. Um, and whether that's one document or two, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure to get your entire transaction history. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to head over into um, back into Coinly and then you're going to drag and drop that file or those files um, into here. And then you're going to click import. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Your transaction history will start getting imported into Coinly. And once your transaction history has been uploaded to Coinly, obviously make sure to add any other exchanges that you might be working with. And then you can review any transactions by clicking over into the transactions area. Obviously Coinly has done all the complex calculations for you, figuring out your capital gains, your costs and expenses, stuff like that. But if you still wanna double check and make sure everything is okay, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. And once you're done, head over to the tax reports area where you'll get a summary of your capital gains, your income, your gifts and donations, all that juicy information is here. And you can kind of keep this area throughout the year to monitor and see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. So when you're done reviewing that area, scroll down and select the necessary tax documentation. Since we're talking about a Canadian exchange, you're probably going to be looking for the Canadian documentation. If not, we have plenty of different other documents as you can see on the screen before you. But since we're talking about Canada, we are probably, probably going to be interested in the complete tax report. So this complete tax report, uh, keep in mind, is a document you can give directly to an accountant and then combine it with your other tax documentation or alternatively, you can invite them to the Coinly platform to set up their accounts firm with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone on every one of these videos is check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible for you. But that brings us to the end of another very simple wallet integration video. I'll leave you with some resources down below if you have further questions. We first have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section where you can leave, you know, comments or issues you might be having with our software. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact us section where you can send us a message directly and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.